Sure do. Hey, everybody. Welcome to lunch with uh, Michelle and Wade. Wade. Yes, yes, yes. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We hope you're having a great Wednesday. Yep. Uh, I want to share with you. I'm wearing green. Oh, he is man. not. I actually think when I was putting this on, I might have worn it last week on Wednesday, but I couldn't remember for sure, but it's the only green thing. We can't see it because it's camouflage. <laughs> Yes. For it. yes. Okay. All right. So, so we're talking about St. Patrick today. Okay. I cannot find this. Okay. Here it is. So this is the prayer of St. Patrick because of St. Patrick Day. Who was St. Patrick? St. Patrick lived in the 400s. He was in Ireland and uh, he's called St. Patrick because he uh, converted many people and he died for his faith and he left a lot of um, spiritual like tools for people nuggets nuggets like prayers okay so here's one of the things that that saint patrick prayed and this is a pretty long prayer you can just search for, for breastplate prayer okay. from oh, okay. uh, saint patrick but here's here's the prayer that he prayed which i think will be the prayer that opens us up for the little time that we have today okay so am i supposed to close my eyes are we pray i like that's whatever you want to do <laughs> okay. you don't have to close you don't have to close your eyes okay so, um, he says, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every person who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, Woo. through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Wow. Oh, man, that's pretty powerful because his focus was not on him. Right. His focus was on the Lord. So oh, got it. That's our prayer for you on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on with you? Um, not a lot. I had a board meeting this morning. Um, um it was great because you're still working from home virtually yes. sorry yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um with an outfit in austin that an outfit yeah i'm based in austin yes yeah. Yeah, yeah. my home base is in austin i usually commute in everywhere from once a week to twice a month but um, you're talking about like driving in yes normally pre-covid yeah pre-covid mm -hmm. um but We've been virtual since obviously last almost I think exactly a year ago. Yeah, it's been a year, huh? And uh, so our board meeting was still online, um, and it was good. But then I had some other things to finish up, and now I'm here with you. Yeah. So last night she was making shirts for Caleb and Rebecca. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, true confessions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a terrible cook. I. My housekeeping is, I mean, we do what we need to to get by, right? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're not like hoarders or filth or anything like that. But listen, we do have to vacuum a lot. We're just dirty people. Or not, we're I humans. Can't, I, yeah, I can't we're explain humans. it without making us sound really terrible. Anyway, <laughs> but I can craft with can. the best of them. With Martha, can. Martha Stewart has nothing on me. So... <laughs> I like to share that <laughs> gift with my kids, uh -huh. and I'm I'm like Becca. Tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. You need to wear green, and uh, she's like, I don't really have anything green. I was like, Do you want me to make you a T-shirt? And she's like, Okay. So of course I was like, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. And uh -huh. I made this super cute T-shirt, and it said, Um, not lucky just blessed and then it had romans um four verses seven and eight mm -hmm. and she was all okay thanks <laughs> and then she wore a hoodie over you know she doesn't realize the martha stewart that's in her household exactly yeah yeah and then you made something for caleb yeah i had made him last week or a couple of weeks ago was uh dr seuss day so i made him a grinch shirt and so he wore that, but then we cut out some shamrocks and glued them to a top hat that he was wearing. I'm not sure how the top hat played into it, but yeah, 
So, so uh, just to let you know, when Caleb got out of the car this morning, I said, are you going to take your top hat? And he goes, no, I don't think I'm going to wear it today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Rebecca said she would take off her hoodie. She's not going to take that hoodie re- off. At recess or PE. Right. So what was the scripture? Oh, let's look at that. It was... Um, you said Romans 4? Romans 4, verse 8. And wh- what's the good word? It is... I, I think you'd already had it pulled up, right? Oh, did you not? Give me that. I thought you already had it pulled up. <laughs> I love that you're trying I was going to try to mansplain I it. know you were, baby. Thank you. Do you know where the Bible app is on your phone? Oh, my goodness. You're killing me. Okay. It is... Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven. That's all of us. Mm -hmm. Um, Whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord will never count against them. Mm. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, and you put that... I'm going to spit my this gum out, or I'll regret it later. (laughs) And and you put that on Rebecca's shirt, the scripture reference. Well, I just put Romans uh, 4, 7, and 8. And why'd you pick that one? Um... Because it was what I saw on the on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that God led me to the, it. <laughs> theology by Pinterest. Yes, but I did look it up. Okay, let's see this again. All right, so you started with right here. Blessed. So Romans chapter four. Uh huh. Verses blessed seven are those, and eight. Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven. Yes. Whose sins are covered. That reminds me of Psalm fifty-one. Oh really? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> um, but whose whose sins are forgiven and covered? Who does that apply to? I, I think all of us who put our faith That's in Jesus. That's right. right. Yes. Good job. <laughs> That's a picture. That's not. Oh. No, 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 no. Here, here. Look. He's touching my phone. Yeah. So Psalm fifty-one. Hold up. I'm on my Bible app. You version Bible app if you don't have one. Yeah. So. Psalm 51, have mercy Mercy on me, O God, God, according to your unfailing unfailing love, love, according to your great compassion, blot out my My transgressions transgressions. and wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. That's the Jesus that we believe in. Yes. Who who died on our behalf Mm -hmm. so that we might have life. Yes. And we are justified in his sight because of his sacrifice. Yep. And then he does something in us through his resurrection that that sanctifies us and sets us apart that helps us grow up into maturity in Christ. Yes. So to grow into having uh, the chains of sin and death and shame eradicated and we grow into that. There's a lot more to that scripture than what was on that what was you quoted. You so were Romans, quoting a different scripture. No, 51 talks about in Romans chapter 8 about blotting out transgressions. Well, I was in Romans chapter 4. I'm sorry, Romans chapter 4. Blessed are those whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Mm -hmm. That's you. Yes, because of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord will never count against Uh them. Yep. Uh, It's just such a sweet promise that, you know, when we come to Jesus, you're forgiven. And Mm -hmm. And there's healing and deliverance from that. Right. Absolutely. Hey, we're, we're all jacked up. We're all broken people. Jacked up? Is that a, a theological word? Oh, for sure. Hey, and so what were you saying, though, about St. Patrick, um, the breastplate of righteousness? Uh-huh. Weren't you saying something about that? Yeah, that's called the breastplate breastplate prayer. But also in Ephesians chapter 6, Paul talks about having the breastplate of righteousness right. when he's talking about the full armor of God. Yeah. Built of truth. Yeah, I'm familiar sort of the with spirit, the helmet of salvation, Bible version of it. Feet fitted, <laughs> readiness for the gospel. I was asking what that had to do with St. Patrick. Shield of faith. Okay. We're not getting anywhere on that one. Yeah, but St. Patrick, that's, <laughs> it's called the breastplate prayer. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> You're welcome, Michelle. Yeah. All right. So is there anything you want to say uh, in addition to encourage the folks? Because we're, to- we're all messed up, right? Yeah. I have opened that door twice, and you just stood there. You haven't even run through it. What door? I, I just tossed it out to you and said, we're all, we're all jacked up. We're all sinners. Oh. And you're like, yes. What do you want me to say? <laughs> no, they're not. Y'all aren't. You're just, well, you are just fine. But because God, of Jesus. Yeah. Oh. 
I swear. <laughs> okay, we'll yeah. we'll talk at home. <laughs> you want to pray for us? Yes. You asked me what I wanted to say. Oh, I thought you were trying to wrap up. Okay, what is it that you want to I say? I am trying to wrap up, too. Okay. Um, I just wanted to encourage you to look into your scriptures today and remind yourself that Christ is with you mm -hmm. and you are forgiven and you are loved mm -hmm. and he takes you as he finds you. So how does that, how does that um, saying go? Like he loves you as you are, but he continues to change you or oh, something for sure. like yeah. that. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to earn God's love. He already loves you. I don't know. And then as you grow into that, it transforms you. Yes. He does something so come for as us, you are is my point and then he does something in us come as you are okay you want to pray? yeah let's pray thank you for this day jesus and um father god i just pray that every person that hears this um that you are just alive in their mm. lives father god that they might feel your presence that their trust in you is renewed their faith in you is renewed their hope is renewed lord jesus we ask that um you develop those relationships mm. with us and draw us deep into you we're thankful god so very thankful mm. in jesus christ's name we pray amen amen y'all have a good day all right bye y'all bye